Have you ever experienced multiple layer of security checks before you can have access to the resources? Let me tell you what it is known as. Hi, this is Sayyam from Infosec Train and today we'll discuss about defense in depth. When we talk about defense in depth, it's a multiple layer of security in order to prevent your information and your asset. So we have, we have multiple layers so that we can prevent the attacker in, uh, in order to stop it before he, he can take an advantage and take the entire data or he can steal entire data from the organization. So let me give you a simple example in order to connect with it. Let's suppose if you're trying to go to your office, what do you do first? If you have, you will see there's a gate, there are barricades, then we have security guard check, then we have to put our ID card, our fingerprint to access the cubicle right after that you open a laptop you connect with it you have to enter your passwords over there you have to connect with the wi-fi you have to again put the password over there these are what these are multiple layers of security here what we are trying to make sure is even if attacker is able to get inside he still can be stopped before he can get the real data so in organization what do we have we have multiple layers of security to summarize things we have policies and procedures in the outer layer then we have physical security then we have network security, then we have endpoint security, then we have application based security in order to make sure our data is secure. Post that, we can put all those security measures in order to secure our data. So these multiple layers of security are there so that we can make sure our data is protected and it is unharmed from the attacker. Even if attacker is able to bypass one layer, still another layer is there to make sure that attacker is stoppable. That is defense in depth. Thank you.